Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. As competition in the global technology field becomes increasingly fierce, the topic of export restrictions and anti restrictions on photolithography machines, as core equipment for semiconductor manufacturing, has always been the focus of heated international discussions. Recently, the Dutch lithography giant ASML has finally achieved sustained exports to the mainland market after experiencing a series of twists and turns. This news has attracted widespread attention and praise from foreign media. The Biden chip farce has finally come to an end, and foreign media also said, ASML's export momentum is unstoppable. Looking back on the past few years, in order to consolidate his hegemony in the semiconductor field, Biden in the United States not only launched a huge chip subsidy bill of $52 billion US dollars to attract the world's top semiconductor companies to build factories in the United States, but also signed agreements with the Netherlands, Japan and other countries. The tripartite agreement imposes strict restrictions on the export of key equipment, such as photolithography machines. In this context, ASML, as the world's leading supplier of photolithography machines, has naturally been greatly affected by its business development. However, as the global semiconductor market continues to expand, the demand for lithography machines continues to grow. Faced with this huge market opportunity, both the Netherlands and ASML have shown a strong willingness to resume shipments. The Netherlands not only actively seeks to communicate with the United States to reduce the impact of export restrictions, but also sent representatives to visit China and expressed its desire to strengthen bilateral economic and trade cooperation. ASML has also made it clear that it will not give up the huge market of China easily. It is against this background that ASML exported 32 lithography equipment to China in the first two months of 2024, worth up to 7 billion yuan. This number not only hit a record high, but also greatly increased ASML's revenue. The achievement of this achievement not only demonstrates ASML's leading position in the global lithography machine market, but also fully proves its importance and confidence in the mainland market. For ASML, continuing to export lithography machines to China will not only help it expand its business territory, and enhance its brand influence, but also further consolidate its position in the global semiconductor industry chain. After all, China, as one of the world's largest semiconductor markets, has huge demand for key equipment such as photolithography machines. As the world's leading supplier of photolithography machines, ASML's product quality and technical level have been widely recognized by the market. Therefore, ASML's continued export of lithography machines to China is undoubtedly an important measure for it to maintain its leading position in the global semiconductor industry chain. In addition, ASML's continued export of lithography machines to China 
will also help promote the healthy development of the global semiconductor industry. In today's globalized world, no country can complete the complete chain of the semiconductor industry alone. Only through international cooperation and competition can the sustainable progress and development of the semiconductor industry be achieved. Therefore, ASML's continued export of lithography machines to China will not only help strengthen cooperation and exchanges between China and the Netherlands in the semiconductor field, but also promote the common progress of the global semiconductor industry. Of course, for ASML, continuing to export lithography machines to China also faces some challenges and risks. After all, U.S. export restrictions remain in place and are subject to change. In addition, as competition in the global semiconductor market becomes increasingly fierce, ASML also needs to continuously improve its technical level and product quality to cope with challenges from other competitors. However, Judging from the current situation, ASML seems to be fully prepared. It not only continues to invest heavily in technology research and development and product innovation, but also makes great efforts in market expansion and customer service. It is foreseeable that in the days to come, ASML will continue to maintain its leading position in the global lithography machine market and contribute more to the development of the semiconductor industry in China and the world, and Biden's chip farce is finally coming to an end. Got it? To sum up, the end of the chip farce marks the continuation and strengthening of ASML's export momentum. As the global semiconductor market continues to expand and competition becomes increasingly fierce, ASML will continue to play an important role in the global semiconductor industry chain with its excellent technical strength and market influence. At the same time, China also expects domestic technology companies to, like ASML, jointly promote the development of the global semiconductor industry through cooperation and competition. What do you think of this?